Hello, show. Folk, folks. This is a uh, what's called a, a lobster mushroom, and it's uh, it's a combination of two funguses, the mushroom itself, and then it's covered over with this other type of fungus, which gives it its red reddish color, and that's why it's called a lobster mushroom. And where up in the northern half of Maine, in, in the what's known as the North Woods, at somebody's at somebody's camp. So I'll 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 harvest this mushroom now. Well, I guess I didn't didn't require much cutting. Uh, and and so there it is. Awesome. Hello, hello folks, uh, what we see here emerging from the ground, Matsutake mushroom, which is emerging from the ground, I'll, I'll remove, I'll remove the soil first, and then I, I'll cut it down, down low in the earth. And there, Matsutake. There, there are the gills. It's known as the gills. And this is the stem. This is a classic uh, King Belit mushroom. Yeah. You can see the stem yeah. and the top. Yeah. Nice yeah. color to it. And uh, all right. This gigantic Kimberly mushroom is the largest I have ever seen, 12 inches wide. And his smaller brother, five inches big. Another large balitus with a child. These are uh, edible coral mushrooms. And we had some in some soup this afternoon. It was pretty good. They're heavy. Hi folks. Here you see uh, spring water coming out of this cast iron pipe. And the spring water, the spring water originates from this, from this hill to, to my left, uh, which is several hundred feet high.
There's, a, there's also a, a type of a fungus that grows on on mostly birch type, different types of birch trees, and and maybe some other variety of trees too. And they uh, and uh, this tea uh, called chaga chaga tea, the particulars of which are presented in another video, uh, have medicinal medicinal properties. But uh, but may, but anyway, we we have uh, we have uh, gathered our spring water today in, in uh, the uh, the township of of Rome in Maine. And we're we're ready to go now.